Hey guys, Summer here, and I have a follow-up to the Bustum on pacifiers. I wanted to specifically talk about NICU, or the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. So people get confused because they hear lactation consultants and Lala League leaders and myself talk about how we should avoid pacifiers, and then they get into the NICU unit when their baby's born prematurely, and they're like, ha, ah, there's pacifiers. Okay, so this is very different. When babies are born prematurely, they're born and they haven't gotten that time to develop the suckle reflex. So say they're born at 28 weeks, 32 weeks, 34 weeks. Um, they had many more weeks, in some cases months, to actually develop that brain and that suckle reflex by their own thumb, by using their hands and their fists in utero um, to make that strong in order to be able to breastfeed well when they're born at full term. So prematurely, they still need that practice. So um, with prematurity, we have to kind of do things a little bit differently um, because they're born early. Um, so we use the pacifier in the neonatal intensive care units. Um, because they have to practice. And uh, other than you climbing inside that isolate with the baby, which, I mean, call out, someone needs to develop that because that would be awesome. Um, if you crawled in there, then they could work on developing that suckle, but you can't. So the pacifier then functions as a tool to help them develop that suckle. Um, they can practice all the time, just like they would have in utero, and get stronger. So they're not burning calories in that way. Um, they have usually a nasal gastric tube or what we call an NG tube in their nose that brings their food all the way down to their tummy. So they're getting calories no matter what, and they don't have to work for them, but that suckle on the pacifier helps them develop, um, develop that reflex. Um, so very important to use um, in the neonatal intensive care unit, and it usually doesn't complicate latching on with those kiddos. Those babies latch on great and um, graduate from the NIC unit um, breastfeeding. Um, now I will say, caveat to that would be if a breastfed baby is born term but in the NICU. In that case, if the term babies in the NICU, it would be great if we could um, avoid the pacifier use. Now, it depends on every specific situation, if the baby can orally feed, if the baby can't, like what's going on. Sometimes they're treated like a well baby in the NICU unit and they're being monitored and so they can just breastfeed and avoid a pacifier. Other times maybe they can't, they have to have a pacifier because they're being separated for so much. A lot of different things, but Certainly the NICU unit is a exception and pacifiers are greatly helpful at developing that suckle reflex because they couldn't finish inside mama. So wanted to give that little PS. Okay, have a good day. Bye guys.